Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. My name is Siti Nur Khalida binti Muhammad Zawidi, matrix number 59200. Today I would like to present about my final year project on the title Extraction of Tuhau, Edlinger Coquinia and Coffee Lime Citrus Hystric to form pure essential oils using steam distillation method supervised by Dr. Mashuri binti Yusuf. Firstly, for introduction, Essential oil can be defined as any concentrated oil that we can extract from any plant parts that contains the essence of the plant. Compound inside essential oil normally made out of two particular functional groups such as hydrocarbons and oxygenated compounds. Next is problem statement. Essential oil is becoming more popular as time goes by, not only as alternative and complementary therapies, but it has many more benefits and application in various different industries. Malaysia has abundance of natural resources, but low exploitation on these industries. We have local brands such as Puras, Ilpuro, Tanamera, but due to lack of exposure, research, Malaysia still imports essential oil from other countries, brands such as doTERRA and Young Living. This study is conducted to investigate further on the manufacturing process of essential oil in terms of its extraction process in order to enhance the quality of this industry. And maybe one day, Malaysia can be an import exporter instead of import. Follow on, we talk about the objectives and scope of this study. There are three objectives for this study. The first one is to review the influence of size reduction technique, which I use cutting and blending, on the oil yield. The second one is to review the influence of drying temperature on the oil yield. And lastly, to review the chemical composition of extracted oil based on GCMS. Next, we talk about scope of study. I use two different raw materials for extraction. The first one is Etlingera coquinia, or more commonly known as Tuhau, for the rhizome part. Next, I use coffee lime or citrus hystric from the fruit peels and also the leaves. Continue with scope of study, the extraction method used is steam distillation method, while the analysis technique for the extracted essential oil use is gas chromatography, mass spectrometry or GCMS method. Now we continue with literature review. Next we continue with previous research. So from the table we can see that there is there's some research conducted for both material. However, it focuses mostly on its medical properties. Next we have the application of essential oil in general. We have the table shows several uh, industries that use essential oil, okay, from various sources. We continue with methodology. We continue with flowchart shown from figure 3. So we can see that there's five steps of the flowchart. The first one is the raw material, getting the raw material. And then the second one is the sample preparation. For each objective, I will only conduct one influences on the, uh, on the oil yield. And then after that, we have the parameter of the experiment, which is the different size reduction technique and different drying condition. And then after that, we have the extra extraction process. And then lastly, we have the analysis procedure. Next is result and discussion. For the first objective, we will talk about the size reduction technique. So based on the graph, this is the predicted result. And as you can see, cutting will produce the highest oil yield compared to blending and also fresh samples. 
explanation from the previous slide. As the particle size decreases, surface area will increase. This will make the steel will have a higher contact with the cell surface. Thus, more volatile compound can be evaporated, hence increasing the oil yield. So this statement is supported by several authors. However, for blending, supposedly it will produce a lower size particle. However, it will According to the res predicted result, it will produce a lower oil yield. This is because during the process, there had been cells and oil gland that is damaged, and this will make some of the volatile compound will be evaporated. This statement is supported by a few authors. In, con in conjunction with that, it does not have enough sufficient surface area for the steam to pass through to evaporate the volatile compound. The next one is for drying pretreatment. So the figure shows the predicted result for this objective. And as you can see, the higher the drying condition, the higher the oil yield produced. For Atlegeria cochinia, I wasn't able to find any study conducted for Tuhao, so I have to use red ginger from Indonesia. For the explanation, okay, as the drying temperature increases, the moisture content inside the cell will decrease. This enables the a faster oil yield to be evaporated. Thus, in a constant uh, duration for the particular extraction, oil yield will increase. This statement from Matia Gan, 2014, also. Uh, pointed out that wet sample will produce more viscosity, which makes it harder to separate the secondary metabolites, which is the essential oil, from the plant cell. So there have been several studies to support the statement that as drying, con drying temperature increases, oil yield will increase. Next, we continue with prolonged heating. So, prolonged heating will cause shedding on the outer surface of the plant and also damage granular trichomas. This will lead to a lower oil yield. As you can see from the table, on the fourth day, it will produce a lower oil yield. So, it is very, it is, you need to take consideration on the duration of the dry, drying and also the temperature of the drying. It cannot be too high or too long because it will cause lower essential oil extracted. Okay, we proceed with chemical composition by GCMS. So in order to minimize our analysis, the highest oil yield will be picked. And that is from the drying condition with using 65 degrees Celsius. However, because drying condition, it will uh, affect the composition of the extracted oil because during the process, volatile compound can transform due to the formation of secondary aroma. So for Atlegeria coquinia, there's a total of eight compounds detected, which I used to source from Varapan, Nagapan, and Pala Nivello 2012, and also from Nagapan, Yatau, Salim, and Varapan during 2017. But this plant have limited information because there's not enough research had been conducted. At least this is the chemical composition for citrus hystric. So there's a total of 26 compounds detected. For leaves, major compound is citronella and linalol, while for peels, major compound would be limonene and bipinanene. So here we can see that peels will have a, a lot more aroma profile compared to leaves. And also, it is noted that it's hard to predict the composition result because there's just too many influences, such as method of extraction and also the temperature of extraction. Okay, so for conclusion, steam distillation technique is a feasible method to be used in order to extract desired compound from the plant materials. And preparation technique can have influences on the oil yield and composition. As for the recommendation, because steam distillation technique usually takes a very long time and a lot of energy, so it is advised to use the improved, improved version of the, the distillation method, for example, microwave-assisted steam distillation or hydro distillation. 
Next, we should also conduct further research on atelogenic cochinia. And last but not least, instead of using GCMS, we can use FTIR to investigate the composition of plant material. References which I use in this slide.